Hey, here's a book called What's the Big Idea, Molly? by Valerie Gorbachev. Big idea. Molly put down her notebook. It was not a good day for ideas. Molly had been trying to write a poem all morning. She loved beautiful words, but she just couldn't find an idea. Now all her friends had come to Molly's house. Tomorrow was Turtle's birthday, but no one could come up with an idea for a gift for Turtle either. Molly put her pencil down. I know, Rabbit said. A nice picture is a great birthday gift. I will draw a picture of a flower for Turtle. I like it, said Goose. I will draw a picture of a flower for Turtle too. Frog jumped right off the couch. Me too, I love to draw flowers. And me, said Pig, flowers are my favorite things to draw. No, 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 said Molly. Drawing is a good idea and I like to draw too. But we can't give Turtle five pictures of a flower. We need to think. I think of my best ideas when I run, said Rabbit, walking out of the house. I think best when I'm fishing, Goose said, following him. I get my best ideas down by the pond, Frog said. Mine come to me under the willow tree, said Pig. I'll be back soon. I am staying here, said Molly. My best ideas come to me right here, when they come to me at all, that is. And she sat down on the porch. Maybe she'd do better thinking up a gift for Turtle than she did thinking up a poem. Meantime, Rabbit ran and ran and ran until he got to the perfect new idea of what to draw for Turtle's birthday. Frog hopped to the pond and plopped in. He swam and swam until he got a great idea of what to draw for Turtle's birthday. Goose waddled down to the lake. He fished and fished until he got just the right idea of what to draw for Turtle's birthday. Pig went right to the willow tree and she took a nap. That's how she got her best ideas. When she woke up, she knew just what to draw. When all the friends ran to Molly's house with their new ideas, Molly still had no idea at all. What ideas did you come up with? She asked, a bit grumpy. Running through the woods, I saw a beautiful tree. I am drawing the tree for Turtle, said Rabbit. I'm sure Turtle will love it. Oh dear, said Frog. Jumping into the pond, I saw a beautiful tree too. Two pictures of trees will be all right, won't they? You will not believe it, said Goose, but I caught a fish under a most beautiful tree as well. And I have drawn that very tree for Turtle. Three very good pictures of trees will be right too, right? Oops, squealed Pig. The tree that I was sleeping under was the perfect tree. I have started to draw that very tree for Turtle. Oh goodness, said Molly. First it was all flowers, now it's all trees. You can't all give Turtle a picture of a tree. Hmm, wait, I got an idea. She sat down on the porch with her pad and pencil and began to write. What is it, Molly? said her friends. Do you want to draw a tree too? No, said Molly without looking up. Just wait, please. Then Molly told everyone her idea and they all loved it. Molly and her friends got busy working on Turtle's pre present together. They drew and painted and glued and stapled until it was finished. The next day was Turtle's birthday. They met him down by the pond and sang happy birthday to him. Then all together gave him one, just one, wrapped present. 
It was a beautiful book from his five friends with beautiful pictures for every season. The summer picture was drawn by rabbit. Summer. In summer, it's so hot. I feel like I'm in a melting pot. And Goose drew the autumn picture. Autumn. Fall is in the air. Leaves are blowing here and there. Frog drew the winter picture. Snow. It's crystal white. It shines in the night. Pig, who loved spring the best, drew spring. Spring is here, let's give a cheer. It's the best season of the year. And Molly wrote every beautiful word. I love this book, said Turtle. And I love all of you. I will think of you whenever I read it. And they all sat down and had a great birthday party together. When Molly went home, she sat back on the porch step. I wonder, she said, picking up her notebook and pencil, if I will get another big idea tomorrow. I am ready for it. And I hope you will be good of good ideas tomorrow too. Bye. Love you.